sense, it's a business intelligence tool that's powered by a large language model. We created it to empower public service officers for data-driven decision-making. Fancy business insights from our database? Just query it in natural language and chat with it as if it were a person. For today's demonstration, we'll be using mock healthcare databases. Don't worry, we dreamt these values and the data schema all up. After all, we're software engineers, not healthcare experts. Imagine now, you can just ask Sense for all the data fields that you have in your database. What a dream, ain't it? Sense gives you the data catalog, along with all the metadata for your analysis needs. In this example, we have two data tables, a cluster mapping table that tells you which institution belongs to which healthcare cluster, and a patient table that tells you the billing details of each patient at each hospital. Sense is able to understand your business and policy language. Let's ask Sense what the A loss per year is and see how it responds. Sense is able to explain to us that the A loss refers to the average length of stay and is calculated using the admission and discharge dates. Interestingly, if you look at the code, Sense is also able to tell us that A loss is valid only for inpatient services where patients have to stay overnight. Let's push Sense a little harder. Let's ask it how many patients have no OOP. But what's OOP, you ask? Don't worry, let Sense tell us. OOP stands for the out-of-pocket payment, which is the amount patients have to pay after all subsidies, many share life, and many safe amounts are deducted from the bill size. Sense discerns that the correct equation to use is the difference between the bill size and all the other amounts. And interestingly enough, it is also able to tell us that negative OOP values are equivalent to zero OOP values. Can Sense do better? Let's try asking it for the 25th and 75th percentile cover charges. The phrase cover charge is used to refer to the bill size, but can Sense understand this? Let's see. Interesting, Sense does pretty well on this front as well. Let's do an experiment next. Simulations are the name of the game for any consultancy or policy officer. Could we somehow change the definition of the OOP? Let's tell Sense how we're going to change the definition of the OOP. Let's try swapping the medical life and many safe terms. Then let's ask how many patients had no OOP right after MediSafe was applied and right after medical life was applied. Again, Sense does very well. If you examine the first code for the MediSafe calculations, it drops the medical life term. The second code for the medical life calculations reinstates the medical life term. Right, let's not tease Sense any further. As a final demonstration, Let's ask Sense to join both data tables in our dataset to find the total bill size for each of the three healthcare clusters. And voila, data merging and calculation has never been easier. We'll be rolling out Sense to the Singapore Public Service soon. Say hello to a world where data-driven decision-making is as easy as one, two, three.